Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Lick MRI, and this is a young patient, 25 years old. They're having lateral sided pain with no history of prior injury, and it's sort of a subtle finding, so I want to show it because it's easy to just jog by, but at first glance, things look really good. There's no arthritis. They're very young. The menisci, medial meniscus, lateral menisci look great. All the ligaments, ACL, PCL, medial collateral ligament looking great. Lateral collateral ligament complex looking great. So hey, things look very good so far. If we put up a sagittal view here, things look pretty doggone good again. ACL looks good, PCL looks good, lateral meniscus, medial meniscus all looking good. At first glance, you know, the patella looks pretty good. But if we measure this here, we can see that the patellar tendon is a little bit long. The patella is about 3.2 centimeters and the patellar tendon is five. So that's a little bit more than one and a half times the length, and some people even say 1.3 times the length. So if the patellar tendon is more than 1.3 or 1.5 times the height of the patella, we call that patella alta. The patella is a little bit too high in position. I like to do this while well, see the physeal scar here. This is a faint physeal scar, and just glance at it, and it comes across here. Normally it'll go nearly at the midsection of the patella, but here you see it goes right along the inferior margin. So the patella is high in position, we call this patella alta, and that sometimes can be associated with abnormal mechanics of stress. So if we look at this, we say, well, mild patella alta, patella looks pretty good. If we go lateral, go medial, things look very, very good. But if we put up these sagittal images that are uh, fat suppressed, we can finally see the problem. So here's the medial side, here's Hoffa's fat pad looking very, very nice. This is the quadriceps fat pad here above that looks perfect. Prefemoral fat pad up here looks perfect. If we go lateral, 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 boom, on that one view right there, that little bright spot is the superior lateral Hoffa's fat pad. And this is a case of mild fatty impingement. So they have patella alta and a little bit of edema from fatty impingement. And uh, this is on the lateral side there, and I believe this is what's causing their lateral sided pain. Everything else looks perfectly normal. That's it. So patella alta and fatty impingement.